Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for Thursday's trading, the 31st of March 2016. Before I start, be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com and download the, uh, the new app, which uh, projects my uh, market analysis and other uh, individuals' analysis as well. Uh, certainly uh, updates my videos, etc., on the Google Play Store and the uh, uh, the Apple's App Store as well. Okay, in terms of U.S. markets uh, overnight, the uh, the actual futures are certainly under pressure due to the fact that uh, Asian markets were certainly uh, underwhelming. Uh, okay, we have this Chinese debt downgrade now as the main issue or main concern. We have the euro spiking up to 1.14 as well, which certainly is a concern. We've had uh, German retail sales certainly coming weaker and German employment not exactly um, beating expectations. So certainly remains weak from that perspective. So weaker European data also with regards to inflation, certainly uh, uh, helping the euro USD and the monetary policy divergence as well between the US and the UK. Uh, European markets are all in the red at the moment. Asian markets were more or less over, over, over majority of them were in the red. Uh, having said that, uh, the uh, Australian index uh, and the um, Shanghai certainly finished more or less positive, but the Hang Seng and the Nikkei were certainly lower uh, in terms of uh, weakness. So certainly seeing weakness there. Now, oil prices certainly have rebounded, but still remain under pressure. Copper certainly remains under pressure. The dollar is certainly weak this morning, but uh, certainly is coming into potential support with US data out very shortly. Now, we've had uh, economic data out from the US in terms of, uh, let's just confirm, the uh, challenger job cuts. We're waiting for continuing jobless claims and initial jobless claims, Chicago PMI, and then obviously Mr. William and Dudley speech as well. Now, we all know they're going to be hawkish, and therefore you are looking at uh, weakness for uh, US equities. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly from a uh, uh, from a, a technical point of view now the US markets. Now let's bring up the chart of the Russell uh, with regards to a potential next move. Now the Russell itself has H&S formation in play. You had a lower high that was registered yesterday and therefore you are looking for a potential thrust lower. The 60 minute chart of the Russell certainly indicating exhaustion. It's whether or not we can hold and maintain above that uh, previous high and from my perspective, given the Chinese deck downgrade and the EURUSD certainly under uh, causing pain in Europe, that's going to, 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 to actually feed through. And given the fact that we uh, lack of uh, participation in the rally uh, post-Fed, it certainly seems to be dissipating. OK, so certainly indicating weakness on the Russell itself. Now, let's look at the S&P 500. Uh, you have this bull flag in play, but whether or not that bull flag plays out is a different question altogether. We did have a potential topping tail yesterday. Uh, and that obviously will be confirmed with this Chinese debt downgrade now. Uh, obviously, if the Chinese debt downgrade did not occur, then it will be a totally different story. Now, we've had oil weakness, given the uh, supply concerns, uh, obviously resurfacing. And now, obviously, we have Chinese debt concerns as well. So, um, several Chinese banks reporting, one of them already has reported, and this is potential news of a, a default. Now, the last the message that I read uh, in terms of uh, after S&P downgrades China outlook, CN China, CNY down, JPY up. Uh, in terms of German employment, certainly stagnant. If I can go back now and look at the, I can't find that message now. Did I retweet that? No, I don't think I retweeted it. Fantastic. Okay, so I don't seem to have that. But basically, it was the summation was the fact that we had concerns with regards to the. Uh, Concerns with regards to the uh, Chinese debt uh, spiraling potentially out of control. Okay, and that obviously will have reverberations. Okay, the rest of Europe. So the S and P five hundred certainly looking at a potential uh, topping tail on the uh, on the daily chart. Sixty minute. If we can't uh, hold that previous uh, resistance uh, equal support at twenty fifty six, we are going lower. And uh, the ten minute shirt certainly explains all. So you can clearly see that we've put in a lower high, and we are looking at potentially. Closing the gap at 2055, uh, potentially moving lower from my perspective, especially given the Chinese debt concerns. OK, let's bring up the chart of the Nasdaq. Now, the Nasdaq is the key uh, instrument that we need to look out for. You are looking at a potential gap fill below at 4468, so potentially lower. Uh, 60 minute chart certainly has a, a bear flag. Uh, the previous resistance equal support is at 4450. So that zone is certainly looking to potentially be touched. Now, we are, again, we put in the topping tail yesterday at previous support equals resistance, and therefore you are looking at weakness there. The semiconductors, let's just bring up a chart of semiconductors on a daily chart. You can see that we are into horizontal resistance on the semi, so therefore indicates resistance on the NASDAQ. 
looking at the biotechs uh, bring up a daily chart the biotech certainly is sting lang still languishing at the lows still failing to catch any real meaningful bid and you can see there we did push high and then obviously we sold into the close so that's not exactly a bullish sign so look, it's looking for further weakness there in the biotechs uh, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, US markets now bringing up the chart of the um, VIX okay the VIX is very very important here folks now let me bring up a daily chart I'll give you a better insight the VIX itself is now potentially coming into support okay the weekly chart is already at support it's at a major support zone and the daily chart obviously coming into support as well so that's certainly signaling some type of risk aversion trade and I've already identified that being Chinese deck downgrade and obviously the euro spiking as well destroying the QE trade okay uh, the emerging markets certainly have impressed given the fact that uh, we've moved higher uh, on the back of uh, uh, a, a dovish yelling but we are now into gap fill resistance on the uh, emerging markets and therefore you're looking at weakness also bringing a chart of the dollar index given the fact that we've pushed higher on the dollar index for the dollar index you can see that we are now into horizontal support and looking to potentially push higher and that in, in turn will obviously cause weakness in global markets and commodities as well so the FTSE 100 certainly will be the potential prime index that will see weakness and will experience weakness from my perspective so all eyes on the uh, the FTSE and how that reacts okay uh, now bringing up the chart the Dow the Dow Jones is interesting here you can clearly see that we put in a lower high and uh, certainly indicating weakness 60 minute chart again uh, whether or not we continue to make higher highs and higher lows like I said the Chinese debt concerns certainly will weigh and the Dow certainly is into horizontal resistance in the daily chart as well so certainly everything is indicating weakness from my perspective and looking for a potential weaker move okay uh, now be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs as as you know my bias will certainly remain bearish going into the US session and uh, like I said be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs especially since CFD and, and, and brokerage uh, certainly is an important uh, uh, website to visit and certainly apply for that potential uh, cash uh, bonus offer as well okay and uh, alternatively you can visit the educational site www.cfds.education2 okay folks i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com and goodbye now